Hey everyone, Mickey Moo here with another Nostalgia Vault. This time I'm playing um, Super Smash Bros. fan games. Um, I'll be playing today Super Smash Bros. NES and Super Smash Bros. Uh, game Boy, or Super Smash Land actually is what the game's called, in lieu of the upcoming Smash Bros. DLC and uh, recent Smash Bros. announcements. I just figured um, it was a good time to play. So right now I'm playing Super Smash Bros. NES. Um, the game obviously is designed to emulate um, the experience of playing Smash Bros. in the NES. So, as such, the roster is minimalistic. A lot of the characters are kind of the, the way they play is minimalistic. Um, it's a deliberate sort of attempt to have that kind of feel. And even in um, like in relation to that, basically a lot of the um, characters are basically just characters you'd only find in a NES game. There are no Pokemon, for example. There are a lot of third-party characters, so that's kind of cool in terms of secret characters and secret stages. Now, if you notice, um, the, in this game, there's only uh, there's the special attacks and smash attacks, like in the the original series. But smash attacks are actually there's only one. It's just holding the A button, neutral A, basically. For those of you who play GameCube controllers, um, and then there's the B attack. Incidentally enough, Mega Man's um, Mega Man's neutral smash is basically the charge shot, which is like it's it's basically he plays exactly like he, he does in Smash 4, even though this game predates Smash 4 by like six years. Like this game was made with Game Maker 6. For those of you who know about Game Maker uh, 6, that version of Game Maker is so old that that only um, games or systems earlier than Vista can play games that old. I had to convert it for my um, Windows 7 system. I think it was made in 07 or 08 by um, Rebirth Gaming. Uh, I know Rebirth Gaming, there's a, there's a domain by people who are uh, Minecraft players who have that, that name now. Uh, from what I know, it's not the same Rebirth Gaming, different group uh, that basically went under. I don't know when they went under, but... Um, couldn't actually find a, a download of this game anywhere, so the copy I have on my computer is like one of the the, the uh, last ones I know of. I don't know how popular uh, this game became, but I'm pretty sure it's it's relatively obscure. The next Smash Bros. fan game I'm gonna be playing is probably less obscure, Super Smash Land, because it came out uh, right around the time Smash 4 came out. Um, but yeah. I know most people associate Smash Bros. fan games with uh, Super Smash Flash 1 and 2, uh, maybe the mods like Project M um, or Brawl Minus, but there are some other uh, PC fan games that are pretty decent. To be fair though, this game is more of a more of a novelty thing. Now, playing multiplayer, but the game has a single player mode just like in uh, the typical Smash Bros. games. There's a break the targets mode and then there's an adventure mode. Uh, since Brawl wasn't out at the time the game, this, the, the time that this game was made, I guess uh, the creator effectively just emulated Melee uh, with uh, the NES feel. Now, a lot of the items don't have the feel that they would in the actual, um, like, game. Like, the star does not actually make you invincible, it just makes you not take damage, but you still get knocked back, and, um, you still have pushback. Speaking of which, the phys physics of this game is kind of, they're not conducive to competitive play. I mean, nothing about this game is, is conducive to competitive play. It's, it's, like I said, more for novelty. There are a lot of aspects of this game that are kind of just, uh, wouldn't really sit well in a competitive sort of scene. Not not speaking about competitive players, but just in general to the, the way, like, uh, a lot of fan games, maybe Super Smash Flash ex excluded, a lot of fan games that, that emulate Smash Brothers that I know of, they kind of, uh, the physics aren't that great, like, the, the knockback is not really consistent, so there's no DI, there's no way to really recover once you're knocked back, you kind of just, there's really no, the logic that the original series has to the, the knockback is kind of not in present in this game or like similar fan games unfortunately 
Now, in terms of the secret characters, I think there's seven, and I think there's, like, eight stages, but the amount of effort you have to put in to unlock things in this game is kind of, um... It's a lot of effort. You might as well just spend that kind of time and play a real Smash Brothers game. That said, there's still a huge novelty factor to playing a game like this, so... See, the items don't work exactly the same way that they would in uh, the original series, but that said, there's some cool items, like you see Tetris blocks are falling. These are, I guess, uh, assist trophies. So, so the, um... Brawl had been announced, but I don't think Brawl had been released, so... Choose your character. I'm gonna go back and show you some of the, uh... Kirby. Some of the adventure campaign. It's character. kind of like it is in, in uh... Link. In Melee. I mean, even the, the uh, MIDI music that it's using is from Melee, so... Unfortunately, I had to use X Patter for my um, my control scheme because I wanted to play the controller, but the games as an older game maker game won't allow control mapping. So that said, it's it's kind of awkward to move forward and and to um, move forward and jump at the same time. I didn't realize that until I started playing <laughs> Adventure Mode right now. And unfortunately, there's no jump button. That would actually make this much easier, but jumping is done by pressing the up button. Which, on a control stick, is kind of... not cool. Luckily, Link has a third jump, sort of, with his, his down uh, smash. Cool thing is the warp zone is actually in this game. If I can get up here... So like in the original Mario Bros, uh, you can skip Bowser, although Bowser is not playable in this game, and Bowser is actually not the boss, it's Mario, but um, Mario comes in and knocks Bowser aside. I don't know if the other stages have a warp zone. Uh, the way that the manual was worded it made me think that there are multiple warp zones in, this, in the adventure mode, but I haven't seen them. This is going to be a very awkward uh, playthrough. <laughs> it's going to be a miracle if I can actually even get to the... yeah. Should I just play with keyboard? It was my bad. I didn't realize how much a D-pad, uh, how important a D-pad is to precise jumping moments in, uh, in games like this. So there's not. As I said earlier, that many attack options. Um, the charge attacks generally are like uh, they're generally long range attacks, save for Mario's, I think, and um, oddly enough, Samus's. I think is not charged. Ah, oh, crap. Sometimes I have one jump, sometimes I have two jumps. It's 
See, there's knockback even with the, uh... That was my... I guess my down special? I don't know. Maybe if I do another playthrough of this game, I'll map my controller better. <laughs> Yeah, Shadow Link's in this game, it's just like Melee, uh, it's a different sp sprite of Link. Same, same moveset, same everything. Not many attack options other than poking Link. I'm already at 84, yeah. Failure. So this is Super Smash um, NES. Um, I guess I could do one quick target run and see if I can even attempt to hit anything. So Samus is... Uh, Samus' uh, like, smash neutral is actually her bomb, which is kind of weird, but no screw attack. Maybe not hit things that like that high up. Cause there's no there's no up uh, up special. Anyway, that's Super Smash uh, Flash. I think there is a uh, multiplayer option for having two two human opponents at the same time, but no four player, unfortunately. Um, and this game also has uh, instead of uh, trophies, it has cards that you can collect. Um, I think if you get all the cards, for example, um, you you get like um, you get a special stage or something. Yeah, so, uh, it's, it's good novelty, um, something I played when I was younger, just a bit, not often, but something that I recently thought of with the new upcoming DLC. So this is Super Smash Land, which is the Game Boy equivalent of Super Smash NES. Um, 